Hey there, everybody, Thet here, and welcome back to Thet Plays Civilization VI Gathering Storm with mods. Uh, good news. A thousand-year flood hit the Aztec Empire, chiefdom, excuse me, don't get it twisted. Uh, and it actually knocked down their population, and that population reduced the pressure to Jose Calo just enough so that I could take and maybe hold a little bit of loyalty in this city. Now, all that's probably bullcrap. However, what I would like to go ahead and say next is that, uh, you know, I'm going to have a hard time pronouncing some of these names. You want to give me some city names, chat? You know, maybe in the comments? Just give me a list of like three or four names for cities that you would like to see. Just so that I don't have to use my white boy you know, voice box to try to pronounce some of these names terribly, which is probably what would end up happening. Rebellion in 10 turns in uh, Tao, which is a good example, which is great for us, because they might join us, is what I'm getting at. If that happens, then the Aztec are ruined. That would be the best case scenario. Alright. Why don't you stay here for now? I, I'm pretty sure that had nothing to do with the loyalty. You have a traitor already? Oh my god. How far ahead of me are you on freaking science? Wait, I'm second place. We have the same amount of things researched. I have more science coming in per turn, though. Nice. Okay. I think I'm going to save up for a builder. I want more ziggurats. I want more ziggurats. And I'm actually pretty close to getting a builder. At least I feel like I am. Where's my... There you are. My war cart down here. Okay. We at least want to get on the other side of that river. Hey! Not one without water. Plantations. Nice. Hanging gardens. Not that useful. Did you guys already take this thing out? You did not. Okay. And there's spears, which is not good for our cart. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and get mining out of the way now. Since it only costs nine, which is, you know, pretty cheap. We're on turn 109, by the way, and we're still firmly, like, in a very early age. Looks like a brute got into a fight up there with an eagle warrior. I would say it did not go too bad. Yes. Yes. Pressure is relieving. And yes. Still pour in the waters of my love and lack not to lose still. Thus, Indian like, religious in mine error, I adore the sun that looks upon his worshiper but knows of him no more. Nice. Flood. Immunity and an inspiration toward drama and poetry. Um, what was that for? The glory of completing a wonder has energized your people. Nice. Now they want to write stuff. That's great. Uh, go ahead and heal up here. Just spend some time feeling better. Uh, yeah, get that monument up next. You don't, you really don't need housing right now. So I'm thinking after the monument. Oh, this. Oh, God, all of the good places for holy sites. And for Camp I. That's what I'm calling them now, Camp I. Um, you know what? Buy this spot. Queue up a campus there. That is such a good spot for a campus. We're going to get some science. We're going to get all the science. Going to be smart lads. Are we on an island? This is looking like a small ass island. I'm hoping I got it twisted here. Because if it is a small ass island, I don't like it. I really like... Hmm. I'm not giving you 60 horses. That's most of my horses, dude. Try again. 18 bucks for open board. I don't want freaking open borders, dude. You want horses, you pay for horses. 10. No. I don't know. You pay per turn. How about one? All right, how about if I give you 12 horses? All right, 12 horses for 30 gold over time. That's fine. I, I can do that. 
I mean, look, we can stockpile a lot of horses, so we're not losing out that badly. But, you know, I wanted to make sure we didn't... It's not about not losing, it's about winning, you know? This is beautiful. This is beautiful. The city appears to be ours. I'm actually, like, elated. If we can get this camp next, and then these guys rebel and join us? You already have a diplomat over here? Who gave you this? You have five things researched. I guess it doesn't tell you what civics they have researched, to be fair. New Barbarian Outpost. That is something we could deal with. Our, I forgot we had a war card over here exploring. You know what? Can you see that outpost? Yeah, get them archers. It's more good stuff for us. There it goes. Okay, they're going to rebel again in 10 turns. They may actually join us. Yep, yep, that's, that's Sumeria right there. That's our beautiful, beautiful logo. Yeah, attack the Singaporeans. That's who you want to fight. Foreign city gains independence. Aztec no longer has enough loyalty to keep the city of Teo in their empire. Yo! Yo! Look at that pressure drop. Look at that pressure drop. Acting like it's so hot. Beautiful. Uh, over here, this is going to be a little bit of a harder win. A much harder win. In fact, it's a loss. Uh, yeah, let's just... Let's just go up here and support these guys. Oh, this is wonderful. These three population are all that the Aztec have right now. We've actually screwed them so hard. Just by putting so much pressure on this one city. Actual tactical military genius. I played the long game and it paid off. Did you just take... Oh, no, wait, that's a scout. Boop. Give me. Gold and... It looks like more gold. Bring gifts as they join... It. Yeah, it's gold. It's just lots of gold. Gold out the wazoo. I'm okay with that. I like gold. Gold is good. Yeah, we'll see how long they decide to remain a free city. And it looks like, right now, it's looking like it's not going to be that long. Yo, this was perfection. You all mocked me in the first episode. Because you thought I was going to lose it all. I know you did. And just because, you know, I'm recording this episode in the same day that I recorded the first one and I haven't rendered either of them and I haven't uploaded any of them yet, I know you did. You probably didn't even. But I'm going to say you did anyway because I get to make fun of you for it. Alright. When you find yourself in a mining. Hole, quit digging. Okay, we can chop wood and harvest copper, quarries, mines, and phalanx, which replace spearmen. They do cost gold to maintain. But they're also stronger around ziggurats, I guess. I mean, it doesn't they don't sound that great, to be honest with you. Yo, bronze working. Give me some iron. We've even killed three barbarians. Actually, let me double check that. Oh, the wheel. The wheel is good, but I think I want to go... I think I want to stick with bronze working for now. The wheel is good because the water wheel is so good. But I think this is fine. I think this is fine for right now. Yes. You have no pressure on me. I mean, you're starting to exert some more again, but... You have almost no pressure on me. This is perfect. And it looks like we're going to have a monument done in Uruk. Ike. Ike. Okay. He mad. Well, I guess we mean, that means we better start pulling the war carts back home. Alright. I'm pretty sure I just heard the sound of a campus. Yeah, you, you gotta move too. Yeah, I want you to move. Um, there you go. Alright. You start hitting there. Uh, yeah. So, 
The monument's done. There it is. It's beautiful, as you can see. Campus going up now. 15 turns. We'll have the best campus in the world. Probably literally. Eh, maybe not. This is probably Korea. It's usually Korea. They like science. What can I say? All right. We'll have the state workforce in 10 turns, which is actually going to be wonderful. Like, there's nothing to get twisted about that. It's going to be fantastic. Major flood on the Atoyuk River has fertilized the tile. One we own, and it almost killed this scout. Uh, yeah, that's nice. Yo, free production on a tile. You know, I ain't complaining. We have 742 gold. Let's buy a builder here. Maybe we'll improve this place a little bit. Yo, they did the trading here, so they actually built a road. So, thanks for the road, dude. Oh, and also thanks for um, failing to build the Great Bath. Anyway, we have pressure on you now, so uh, don't do anything stupid. We, ha we got war carts. Yes, we do. We got war carts. How about you? Oh, you don't have them because you can't build them. You just have your eagle warriors. I ain't scared of your eagle warriors. Uh, you kind of have to build camps all the time. Because camps are extremely good for us. Now, let's go ahead and actually get our archers here. So they can easily and effectively defend this place. And then just, I don't know what we're going to do with the warriors yet. Uh, let's all do the slightly move over shuffle. There we go. Now that's a war line. You want to do something stupid? Let's freaking go. Oh, hi. Welcome to Sumeria. I see that you have wanted to join us. Thank you. Citizens of TAO feel an affinity with us and willingly enter our civilization. Ain't that sweet? The answer is yes. That is wonderful. Um, go ahead and do the monument granary dance. It's my favorite dance. Loyalty's going up. Pressure is positive now. Mm. I'm feeling good. Yo, Gilgamesh. Uh, 800 gold from harvesting the furs here. That's actually a lot, but food, production, and gold from throwing out a camp? Yeah, that's like 2 million times better. How can I not, right? All righty. How we feeling right now? We're still a little behind. We are we got more science per turn than freaking Montezuma. We're at second in culture. <laughs> uh, Montezuma, you poor dude. Military strength 133, 71. You know you're doing something right when you have more military strength than Montezuma early game. I don't know what to even do with you, warrior. I mean, you're not really that useful for me. Let's go ahead and put down a wolf camp. Which is just cool conceptually, but also I need it. And then we'll go up here and maybe get some limestone? I don't know, man. Tomatoes? All sound like good stuff. Basically what I'm getting at is I need a lot of builders and I need them now. Look how many wolves there are in this city. This is the wolf pack right here. The wolf pack's lair, dude. Don't worry, when you get a second citizen, you can take advantage of that one, too. It's going to be great. You'll love it. Okie dokie. And that's going to happen soon, as well. Uh, let's go ahead and go up to Uruk. Or Uruk. Or Uruk. I like Uruk because it... I don't know what it does, but it sounds fun. It looks like they took out this barbarian camp down here, which was a good call. I can't deny that. Okay, they have their second citizen. Perfect. Also, a state workforce. And... And there it is. The opportunity to appoint a governor to our civilization. That's huge. Economy begins with a strong, 
well educated workforce. As is tradition, I'm going to grab Pingala. We actually start with five governor titles, which sounds broken, but I mean, that means you could put a governor in every city. But I'm going to start with um, Pingala and Uruk. The economy begins with a strong, well educated workforce. Thank you, Bill Owens. I think I heard that already. Uh, we can now get conscription, which has been buffed. Now, not only does it reduce um, maintenance by one per turn, but also gives 10% growth in all cities. Corvée is okay. It's production toward wonders, and it's like fine. I mean, I guess ten percent toward wonders now is good. Uh, I don't need to build soldiers right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch out for conscription. Save us that one coin. Um, we're getting more than one faith and one gold. And it's only in the capital. So you know what? That's probably not as good anymore than one production in all cities. I'm going to trade that out. All right. A little bit more production everywhere is probably better. Let's go with foreign, foreign trade on the next part of the docket. Uh, builders are moving up here. Let's go back to our governor section here. You have, We have more titles to give out. Let's give more science and culture here. We don't need to do great people yet, at least not until the campus is done. But with that, we can go ahead and hire someone new. So I'm thinking... Oh, actually, Guildmaster could be really good here. Land acquisition is also really good. Acquire new tiles in the city faster. And Amani's also really good, since you can upgrade her pretty much right away. Um... I mean, Moksha doesn't do anything for me right now. You know what? Give me give me Magnus. Magnus, go to Zoshikalo. Guarantee that we have some loyalty there. And then not only do you provide extra yield if we harvest and remove features, but also give us a surplus logistics. 20% extra growth. Trade routes ending here provide extra growth to wherever they start. I like it. Provision's also good, too, but not right now. All right, cool. That's going to be a big boost to culture, science, and the growth of Zoshikalo. Kalko. I noticed the other C there. Zoshikalko. My bad. Not that you probably care. All right, now we have a lot of places we could build quarries and or mines. Mercury's a luxury resource. We could probably use that. Mirror of the form. Wine of the mine. Okay, we now can see iron. There's some iron. That's all the iron? Wow, that sucks. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, lots of options here. We're about to build a quarry, so let's go straight in the masonry. Spoilers, um, I can build a quarry here and I'm going to have to do it. There we go. Wonderful. Uh, 740 for a new builder. You know what? We're probably just going to have him train a builder. Yeah, it's probably the way I'm going to go. Uruk's up to 5 population. We are now, like, quite a bit more successful by my own estimations than our Aztecian friends. However, it does seem like they're quieting down a bit. So... Our war cart without a promotion? I'm going to... Actually, no, no, no. I'm going to set our warrior out to automate. You know, I'll send you both out. Go learn me a map. All right. And then give me this campus. I feel like good things are happening here. Only the smartest people come to Uruk. Yo! Hard <laughs> science with the 23. Walking the quads and lingering outside the classrooms of the campus, you can hear scholars debate the ideas that will change the world. Beautiful. Pingala is also established. That's part of the reason we got such a huge buff. Uh, Magnus is now in Zoshikalko, which means it'll be growing faster, which is wonderful. Uh, apparently, Singapore liked the fact that we did something. I didn't really pay attention. <laughs> uh, what? So we have an envoy there. That's actually our first envoy yet. Extra gold in the capital. Should probably get one for um, Zappa soon, too. Okay. Good stuff. Part of me wants to say it's granary time. Part of me wants to say it's government plaza time. 
Part of me wants to say it's settler time. I think it's settler time. I think they just built a settler too, because they went from four to three. We want to claim some land out here if we can. We'll see if the opportunity arises. Um, they will... The city will grow before the settler is made. So we're, we're going to have like a net kind of a neutral here. Then again, if they do found a city somewhere out here, maybe we just come over with, you know, the war carts and the, the weapons and we just hit it a couple times until it switches sides. I mean, it worked last time. All right, yeah, show me what's north of Singapore. By the way, what's Singapore and uh, Zappa's suzerain bonus? One gold for each envoy sent to a city-state. Oh my god, that sounds powerful as hell. Um, Eureka's provide 10% of the cost for technologies during a golden age, an additional era score during a dark age. I mean, that's not nearly as good. It's okay. It's not nearly as good. So now where are we on science compared to the rest of these dudes? 23 per turn, 8 per turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm feeling a lot better about our advancements now. Ooh, the ancient era is ending soon, too. We're about to head into the classical era. We got masonry coming down. And we're about to have foreign trade done. This is good. This is good for Bitcoin. Production toward naval units doesn't do much for me. Extra gold from all trade routes is great. If we can get it. But we would need a trader first, which we might be able to build one now. But nah. <laughs> Not at that price. Eventually, though. Let's get early empire. We need to head to the next form of government next, I think. I'm tired of being Chief Gilgamesh. I mean, we're not God King anymore, which is why it doesn't say chief, but, you know. Whatever. <laughs> when wasteful war shall statues overturn, and broils root out the work of masonry. All right. Walls are good. In theory. Give me the wheel next so I can build those uh, water mills. Those are huge. Those are like humongous boons if we can get them. Oh. You guys got builders, huh? Cool. I mean, it's, it's good. I'm happy for you. I'm happy you guys got builders. We got a monument up in... Or I do. It's pretty great. Oh my lord, there is a lot of mountain over here. Uh, In fact, that's all mountain. We are split. If there is a much larger con on the other side, we don't know where it is. They did get a second city. Okay. That's good to know. We got a monument here as well now. Uh, hmm. All right. Uh, that kind of emboldens my decision to found another city this way. Definitely think that's the way to go now. In fact, if we can get one in the right place, you could effectively trap them down there. Because, I don't know, there might be a whole new continent right here, but I doubt it. I mean, yeah, take the seashells. Why not? That's the, that's the perfect spot to take. Early empires coming our way. Land surveyors or colonization. Actually, colonization would be great right now. Cheaper settlers. Plus loyalty per, per turn for places with a garrison unit. Um, can build forts. So an expansionist would allow us to build a single fort. Last, with its changing empires that rose and fell. And you can foresee the future too. Make forts can provide culture and production. If you have units on them, they provide housing, they provide production. They also claim the surrounding tiles and provide defense and healing. So they could definitely be useful. This also allows us to open and close our borders. Let's get colonization. Yeah, colonization and conscription. Okay. There we go. Three turns for our next settler. Much better. Give me political philosophy. I think it's time to learn something. Five new governor titles. Let's see. No point in provisioning 
in any place but Uruk right now. So I tell you what, let's get Leong and put Leong in... Actually, let me see something here. Yields. Uruk has 24 production. Zoshikalko has the second most? Wow, Teo has seven. Okay, we're going to put her in Teo. And Teo's job, after we're done with this, is going to be to make us builders. At least a couple of them. Because we need builders. Yeah, we need to make stuff, dude. Alright, now where do you go if you're Sumeria and you somehow made it out of the ancient era? Do you go classical republic, oligarchy, or autocracy? Well, that's just the question of the day, isn't it? it looks like we're going to start the classical era with a new settler, too. Did you build a second settler already? If you did, I don't like it. I just want you to know that right now. Don't do that. Don't build your settlers too fast. All right. Looks like we're golden era. Golden era ing. We're gonna be in the golden era, boys. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to get at. Hey, we might even get a title. Be nice to be known as something more than just Chief Gilgamesh, wouldn't it? The world enters the classical era. People's glorious age looks like a lot of gloating to me. I look forward to the day of your fall. You mad? He mad. Uh, train a phalanx? Train. Okay, they want me to trade phalanxes, I think. Um, well, well, I mean, what would it take to train one? Five turn. You know what? Make them both happy. Train me a phalanx. And then get me a granary, because I can't believe you don't have one yet. And then give me some ancient walls. We're both in golden ages. Shut up. <laughs> Montezuma. Um, I like monumentality. Extra movement for builders can purchase civilian units with faith. We actually have a lot of faith, and we're still generating it. Builders and settlers are cheaper to purchase with both faith and gold. I think that's the early way to go. We don't have commercial hubs and harbors, so the gold adjacency to science isn't worth anything. And we don't have very many specialty districts, so pen, brush, and voice isn't worth much either. Monumentality it is. Alright, so now, cheaper to purchase. We could actually purchase a builder here already. Okay, I'm buying the trader with faith. And then I think I'm going to come over to Teo and buy a builder with gold. And then I'm going to come over here to this, not the trader, come over here to this uh, settler. And you got a spot over here that you like, so take me to it. Alright, I'm not seeing any barbarians or anything around here, so I think I'm good to just move the settler. There's dates, pearls, mackerel. Mm-mm. Good stuff. I think this area will grow... These cities will grow large enough to actually consume all this, so we probably don't have to worry about anything there. Builder! Get me the wolf pack! I don't know what to do with tin. Wolf pack city! Oh, hell yeah. Um, oh, the trading screen is different. That's a mod, by the way. Uh, gold, science, and faith if we trade with the Aztec capital. Gold and science if we trade with Singapore. And just a little bit of food and production if we trade with anyone else. Um, the science could be good. I'm more tempted to trade and get food. And I'll, yeah, let's do this first. Repeat route? Uh, do it once, and we'll go from there. Get us the road established. A little bit of a boost to currency, which is probably what's going to be our next research, because we're just about done with the wheel. Yo, check out this monument going up here. Wait for it. Wait for it. Hi, warriors. Wait for it. Okay! Thousand-year flood near Uruk. No damage to us. Uh, one place. Wow. If we can grab this place, it'll be really good. Thank you, Anthony D'Angelo. Governor Leong is now established over here, which is probably I should have waited until then to purchase the builder, but I didn't, so... 
it is what it is and that's all it is more wolves please check out that sick monument though uh they're gonna build a granary next it's pretty great as for me get me currency next might as well Yeah, we can actually grab one of these spots. Production and three food? That's really nice. Check out our traders. They're pretty great, aren't they? Check out that circular road. It's pretty great, isn't it? It's uh, not that great, that... Don't even at me. Dude, the gold production and food over here in Teo is going to be off the charts. Four production, three food, two gold, and one culture from every single wolf pack. Holy crap. That's going to be nuts. And with that in mind, yeah, that's going to be it for this episode of that Play Civilization VI Gathering Storm. It's nuts, dude. It's nuts. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure to let me know by giving a like. And hey, like I said before, you got some ideas for cities or maybe even ideas for unit names? Feel free to toss them at me in that comment section below that's kind of what it's for is for commenting and giving your opinion also don't forget to like subscribe you know all the youtube things if you're feeling up to it if you're not maybe you will buy the next video and if you don't still buy then well then i hope you at least enjoyed your watching thanks again for watching this episode of that play civilization 6 gathering storm with mods uh, my name is that and i will see you in the next video